Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, we we got some fun stuff today. <laughs> Sorry about running a little bit late. Um, there's a story in that, and I'll, I'll get to that a little bit later. We are at the site of what will be our community storage. We're going to try to do a little bit of planning on that today, but first, let me uh, get... Oh, no, 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 there we go. And let me unmute and say hello, Mick. Howdy, howdy. All right. So you said there was something going on with the bee farm. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking a look at it now. Try to figure out what's going on with it. Every time, uh, every time I come in here, there's bottles of honey laying on the ground, which makes me wonder how many of them are despawning <laughs> because I'm not in here actively picking Ooh. them up. So I got to look at the yeah. transport system to figure out what's going on with it. And it's only these guys. Yeah. Just these two. Um, Doesn't there have to be an empty spot in the dispenser for the uh, filled honey bottle to show up? Otherwise, it ejects in a random direction, if I remember right. Is You know, I was thinking the same thing, uh, that I might have just had it too full. Uh, take... Let me, yeah, let me, let me uh, breathe these bees up, and uh, I'll, I want to take out the center section of bottles and see if that helps. Because I was thinking the same thing when I was looking at it earlier. I'm thinking it needed at least one spot for the the bottle to come out of. Can you, yeah. Can you? Yeah, I just did that. I emptied a corner and topped off the rest. Where do you want okay. me to put the other uh, empty bottles? Uh, just stick them. Yeah, just stick them in there for now. But I need to go breed bees, anyways. It looks like some of my bees have disappeared. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I suddenly, I, I see the uh, desire to have some sort of information or indicator as to whether a beehive actually has bees in it. Like, all I see uh, is the honey level, and that it's a beehive. Yeah, I think, I this think... This uh, looks like it should be ready to, uh, ready to... Harvest soon. It will. Cause yeah, it will be here at this moment. Yeah, because it's at level four right now. Are we just gonna sit here and shoot the bees? <laughs> yeah, I would, that's what I was doing. Was just <laughs> waiting to see if, because I've got I've got no honey in this chest, so I'm waiting to see if taking that one section out works. Frustrating day today, all around. I had my, uh, I told them the location near my house, and I got a phone call from a different location. And when I went there, they told me it was at a third location. Yeah, that's like, uh, that's not very good, fun. <laughs> good. Uh, fortunately, it's the same pharmacy chain, so I'm like, uh, if I go back to the one by my house, can they just, like, pull it there? Uh, yeah, they can do that. Okay, I'm going home. <laughs> and, naturally, I, I need, uh, gloves to cover. Oh, that one ejected. There it went. Yep, good. There it went. Yep. Okay. Fixed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I deeply suspect the problem was when we first set it up, we didn't have enough bottles to fill the hopper, the dispenser anyway. And now that we have an abundance of uh, glass bottles, the first chance we've had to run into that problem. 
Yep, yeah, it is. It's working now. So now I, nice. I, I remember. <laughs> now I know. Oh, and the other problem I'm running into is uh, I need to, after applying the medication, I need to cover my hands um, in gloves. You know, those things that are in short supply right now. So I'm trying to fit size large hands and size medium gloves, and it feels like I'm typing with a knockwurst. Well, too bad, too bad you don't know any, uh, you know, paramedics that happen to have gloves all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Not doing me much good over there, though. <laughs> Let me uh, check on the shears, because a rest should be arriving here in a little while. And then we can start talking community storage. I'm also going to have to steal some wool, so that way we can uh, try to do a little bit of planning. Uh, rather than just kind of building it and winging it like we did <laughs> the last time. Um, I'm thinking this time we'll start lay down some wool outlines, the various things and where they're going to go and uh, either set up some item frames or some temporary signs or something like that and uh, and plan it out a little bit more first. Speaking of the devil. Yes. Hello. Hello. So you want to talk Sorry, work was storage. OMG. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All the yes with the storage. Storage. If only you could see the dry erase board next to me with all the notes. All right. Um, let's take some of that. Let's, Actually, I'll just wait for Reyes to get over to community storage and then we'll start picking wool because somebody's picky about their colors. Have you seen the temple? Uh, oh no, I haven't. That's right, because you, you and Arcadius were able to get some more work done on that uh, recently. Yes, it's getting so close to done, oh my goodness. Might as well do something if I'm going to be up until like 6 a.m. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for those of you that haven't seen, Rayest wants to turn this into a ghost temple. And, oh, oh, that fog effect. That is beautiful. That is yeah, absolutely isn't it awesome? gorgeous. Uh, I kind of wish we could taper it or something so the walls don't look quite so severe. I don't know what to do about that, though. Where are you? I'm over on the west wing. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, somebody's got jump boost. It's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's so I can do some of this stuff. But isn't the fog so cool? Yeah, that came up beautiful. Uh, folks, you have no idea how many pumpkins gave their lives to light up <laughs> <laughs> to light up that <laughs> section of floor <laughs> yeah so now I gotta do this side of the valley with the fog effect yep. finish clearing the ravine because it goes all the way down that's like just a small layer of stone and Ooh. material before you go like to the bottom bottom okay and then finish but the you conversion are, you are leaving of... the ravine in there right yes okay. No, it's going deeper. So the ravine oh, actually. Okay. If you go down here, the ravine Dude. goes deeper. Like this is a very shallow bit shelf of stone, and then it goes like. Ah, uh, okay. I see what you're talking about. So I'm gonna let it go all the way to the bottom with like the lavas and stuff like that, or magma, or whatever that stuff is. The magma, yeah. Yep. Cool. And have that run all the way through the ravine, so it's like a deep ravine. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. 
Nice. Every time I turn around, it's Tokyo. And then just finish converting all the prismarine and other stuff into glass. And the whole so thing the is going to be a giant glass temple. Holy glass. And then you guys can do, I don't know, things with the fishies. But you're going to be able to see the fishies from the outside. <laughs> yeah, we're still got to work on that part, too. Uh, the more I read the wiki and trying to figure out the spawning, uh, the more uh, Arcadius had a good start. Although instead of raising that top part up one, I think we need to bring it up two or three more. So that way there's nothing okay. but water in the spawning area. But look, you'll and be able to see the fishes. <coughs> also, it's off center and that's eating my soul. What? So we're going to fix that. The fish off chamber center. is off centered. Is the it? The fish chamber on the inside is off center. Yes, it is. Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm losing track. I, I, the jump boost is killing me. Is it that it's off center <laughs> or is the one of the columns is wider than the other? No, hold on. I'll go in there. When you can see me through the glass, it makes it make more sense. I think she has her head tilted. Oh, please. It. <laughs> you can't do that in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, it's off-center, so... Off-center this... this way or the other way? Um. So I am standing... It should be one more this way. So this is the current edge of the fishy chamber. And it oh, you're, you're talking about on the, on the inside. I, I keep looking up yes. at the top, and I'm going, no, the one at the top looks... Oh, yeah, no, no, the outside is good. The outside is good. The oh, fish chamber oh, on the oh, inside is oh. off-center, and I didn't realize it okay. until I could okay. see through. And okay. that uh, uh, not be a thing. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here looking up at the top going, I don't know, that looks about right. I mean, one of the columns is a little thicker no, than the other, but, uh, you know... my soul. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Uh, we're we're going to have to redesign the kill chamber anyway. Uh, okay, Because we need to be standing further yeah. away from the water than we are. We need to be 24... 24? 24-ish blocks away from all the water that's up there. And I don't think this is far enough. I'm almost tempted oh. to leave the chamber up there and then bring him to see if we can bring him down to a kill chamber over here at the heart of the sea. That would probably help. But uh, I, I still got to math out a few things. and Well, it's me and math. That could look very, very cool, though. So that way, we I got to double check and make sure that this is far enough away. Um, and then we're also going to have to figure out where we're going to pipe storage. Because that, that's going to leave uh, a lot of exposed redstone and stuff. Unless we hide the redstone in the heart of the sea. And then just have a circle of boxes around the outside. That's possible. Alright, let's uh let's head over to the foundation for the community storage. Because we're off to a late start like and I'd like to Yes. Whee! That's not the right <laughs> way. Which way is the right way? That way. <laughs> it's the other way. No, the other other way. <laughs> Alright, so my goal for today is just to get stuff outlined and figure out where what redstone I need to fit where. Um, okay. So, grab a few different colors of wool, your choice, because we're going to need to mark out where the mail room's going. We're going to need to mark out where bulk storage is going, multi-item storage... And if I remember right, you said you're going to follow the advice that B-dubs, b, -dubs, b -O gave and make the walls too, too thick. Yes. So we'll have, an in yes. we'll have an interior wall and an exterior wall. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and you'll have to mark off which is the interior and which is the exterior. Because we can definitely move the, the mail and get the interior wall put up today. Oh, Okay. Well, I mean, we got the complete redstone sitting right there for the mailroom. We just got to stick it in the corner that Move it's going it. in and make it look pretty. All right. So what, how many different colors do we need? 
uh, mail room, bulk storage, and then if you want to subdivide anything else further from there. Because we got to figure out what's what. Um, I think we're going to have to mix a couple of different storage uh, systems together and mash them all up. Because uh, I'm looking at the multi item storage and they all assume that you have placeholders, and I don't want to do that for everything. Um, so what I was thinking is we use the standard filter system that we've been using for everything else on bulk storage and things that we're going to put at least one or two boxes of together, kind of like what we got at the iron farm. And then uh, maybe have a box for the multi-item storage and run those around the top or something like that. Okay. Did that make sense? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Could you hear it? <laughs> did you expect it to? I mean, really? Uh, not really, because I, 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 yeah. It's been a crazy <laughs> week. I need a boxing. Is it like a dachshund? No, it's no, a No, it's taller. There was a cute beagle puppy at the store today when I was getting Jumbo food. <laughs> nice. Don't yeah, know what that has to do with anything. He's still cute, though. Or she was, I mean. Cute, but noisy. Well, I mean, nobody knows about noisy puppies on this channel, do they? Oh, and we also need to mark off where the door is going to be. Nobody has a, a baby husky running around. Nope. Yeah. Making noises. <laughs> but she's so cute. What, wasn't somebody just saying something about cute and noisy? Noisy and cute, but not my noisy, so I don't have to deal with it. Oh. <laughs> To be fair, Jeppa barks so infrequently, the first time he barked, I didn't realize it was him. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Good Goodness gracious. He's a very good baby. Well, I think you were there for that. It's when uh, when we had our... Uh, I was going to say oh, Mr. Pig crew, incident? I don't think that was the original. No, that was one that of the wasn't. earlier phases, though. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Things were learned. Yeah. Jabba <laughs> is absolutely fine with people, so long as somebody of the house lets you in. And prior to Jabba showing up for Game Nights 2, um, the gaming crew was accustomed to just kind of walking on in once everything got started. And so a friend of ours found out the hard way that Jabba did not take too kindly to this behavior. <laughs> that's that's a really polite way to say he ate him. <laughs> he didn't, he eat, didn't him. eat him. He wanted to. He barked vigorously it at was, him. It was totally an option on the menu, but <laughs> he didn't do it. He thought really hard about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if oh, there hadn't have been a mama yeah. there, he might have. <laughs> I remember that night because I had a migraine, so I was laying in bed, and I remember Jibba getting tossed in the room with me because he, he just, he was not having it, and he was so displeased that night. So you guys tossed him in the room with me, and he laid with his nose at the crack of the bottom of the door, and every time Mr. Pig walked by the room, Jibba would sit there and snarl. <laughs> he was not amused. <laughs> no, he was not amused at all. Um, how long? How many visits did it take for him to actually warm up to Mr. Pig after that? Because I knew it took a lot of carrots and stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, you said it. Uh, you said it. Oh, it's okay. He's snoring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, that's not always a sign that it is safe. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> he's snoring lightly over here next to me, so I'm, I'm assuming he didn't hear nothing. <laughs> All right, I think I've got everything we need. Okay. Oops. 
Are you trying to precisely place the scrap box? Not scrap box, so I can sort the colors. Sort the colors? And make a key for what it is. Oh, okay, gotcha. Stop combining! Uh, shift in place. Or that. Yeah, I figure if we set down a wall outline, uh, it'll be a lot easier to move stuff around as we walk through and go, ooh, yeah, not enough space. Alright. So, one of these colors is going to be <laughs> the thing... What? I, I don't even but know. I pushed him off his ledge. <laughs> okay. So, this is going to be for... And this color is going to be for... Which one will we have more of? Many item storage or single item storage? Uh, that was going to be one of the questions. Because I, I was kind of thinking that we were going to have more single item storage than we were multi-item storage. That's fair. Okay, I'll be honest. I was kind of hoping that, that was the way it was going to be. Just because the multi-item storage is a royal pain. And there's a really simple way to do it that leaves uh, a box per multi-items. And honestly, knowing us and the way some people hoard things. I do not appreciate you. your insinuation. <laughs> Which of us were you talking about? Plead the fifth, man. Plead the fifth. <laughs> it's your right. Hey, isn't this role reversal? Usually I'm the one telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, speaking from a completely... Um, you know, I thought we had a family-friendly server. What? Well, we do, just friendly for everybody else's family. That yeah, well, we have a visitor on the server. Yeah, and he's French. Mm -hmm. What what happened? Uh, it's a warning. It's just a warning. That's all it is. Don't Why is there a spectre of death? Just don't worry about. It. Don't worry. About it. I told you he was French. It is spectre. Just you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go back to storage now. Um. So Did we have. Did somebody dig up um, my cats, or they just look for the X? Do what? Oh, it's a freshly dug grave. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Did somebody kill the cats? No, they're I hope still they didn't meowing. Kill the cats. They were for the creeper farm. <laughs> Are they always going to meow like that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but they'll be up on top of that building where they're out of range. Which is why I have this one. That's tired. not creepy at all. I got tired of the meowing. Anyway, <laughs> okay, then. anyway, uh. okay, so <laughs> these are labeled and coordinated. Okay. So, first question first, the, uh, the granite here, is that the exterior wall or the interior wall? Neither it was a generic, like, meh, about here. Okay. Um, are we going to push this further out that way? I suspect we are going to need to push this as far as we can possibly take it. Because uh, I'm going to need... Double check my space. Hang on. Where are you going? Pay, pay no attention. Oh, just look behind the curtain. <laughs> I'm going to need one. Uh, the hopper. Two, three, four, Oh, someone has five. a Don Quixote. You do. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> do my llamas have names? They do not. Not yet. 
But if I keep running around seeing randomly unnamed animals just chilling, they, uh, <laughs> they might end up with names. If I name the cat Silenced, will they be quiet? Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, except I think it's, uh, let's see, advancements, uh, you need to use the name tag silence underscore me or silence me with a space, but either way, it's got to be silence me. Are, are you going, did you just abandon the project to go buy name tags? Hello? That's what it sounds like. Uh, I'm, I might kill something if I don't. I don't even notice them. The, the meowing. I can't. Of course, I think I've also got the uh, friendly mob noises. Yeah, down to like 30%. I should probably raise up the hostile creatures, though. That seems a little more important. How many were down here? There should have been four. Oh, there it is. Okay. They did just suffocate him with the dirt. No. Easy to do. <laughs> don't don't ask how I know that. How are they still making noise? Silence underscore me, right? Yep. Did you get all four of them? Yeah. And yet the meowing persists. I don't hear any. Oh. Huh. I feel lied to. <laughs> you should. I don't know. Maybe they'll just be quieter. The okay. Let's try this. They are quieter. <laughs> I, I will take less. Anyway. Um, oh, wait oh. a second. Did, um... It didn't change from silence me to silenced, did it? No. Was it supposed to be silenced me? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Um. It's all supposed to be lowercase. <gasps> and it didn't recognize the capital M in me. I'm gonna pout later. All right, storage. <laughs> All right, so where, where's this outer wall gonna? Wherever it needs to be. So I kind of feel like maybe we should do the inside first, and then the outer wall is external to that point. Uh, well, okay. So my thinking was that we we're gonna figure out where the door was, so we could put the mail room inside to the left, like we had originally talked about. Do that. We kind of need okay. to know where the inside left corner is which would mean we'd need to know where the outer wall is. And then I was going to put an unloading station um, either next to that or um, to the right, depending on how things laid out. Okay. Do this. All right, while you're doing this, um, this Arcadius, all that oak wood that uh, you farmed up, is that over here in community storage? Uh, blah blah blah. Maybe well, that it was, put, but I need fifty-six boxes the... with it. I don't know if I put it here or over at your base. I don't oh, honestly do not okay. remember. Um, right. by by chance, if someone were to remove the bucket of the lava, and someone were to start whacking golems with a sword, you know, for possibly wanting their head, um, where would that go in this system? <laughs> what? <laughs> the well, head or the it. bucket of lava? I yes. have the lava. It's right here. You can have that. I'll put it back when I'm done. Um, problem is, is I don't know where the head went. <laughs> Are you sure it's actually in there? I think I saw it fall, but I'm not sure where it would go. Did it fall into the lava? Because no, I picked I picked the lava up. It would be in the. I think the hopper grabbed it. Uh, Would it just be back here? 
It, it would it would be in one of the boxes, uh, unless okay. it went tried to go into a box that was full. Because all the filter does is look for the roses and pass everything else on. Uh, okay, okay. I didn't know if it like pushed all rose, everything but because, iron into there, or because theoretically, uh, the only things that should be dropping in the iron farm are irons and poppies. Well, I mean, you know, for the most part, that that should be accurate. I'll, I'll give you that. If you broke our iron farm. Well, no, no, I don't. I'm not sure. You know, that would be plausible. No. <laughs> Twenty three. I'm gonna go to the four. Twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. You can do a uh, count. Thirty. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. Three, three, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight, three, nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. And today I'm counting with rest. Six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Ooh, that is an emotionally gratifying number. Fifty. It's yes. odd that you would find that comforting. Given it's okay because usually... it's base ten. It's base 10. Okay, I'm confused about the rules. Mm hmm Okay. All right, so that's 53 right there. Okay. Which um, means the... Does the door need to be one wide or two wide? I was thinking two wide. And should we not move this... Oh. Should we not move this edge over here maybe... <laughs> Down that way a little bit more. It feels like we're kind of crowding in on the uh, trading hall. Well, come see the other end. And where it ends. Oh yeah, I know. It ends at my tunnel. Okay. But now, now that I've got wings, we, we can move that tunnel somewhere else. Because nine times out of ten, I'm flying over it unless I'm trying to transport it, something like, you know, llamas or... I saw the cat, but it's not a jelly. Um, is there an Arcadius head in the system now? There might be. <laughs> <laughs> but I should have, like, four heads, and I just need a few more. Because how many... I mean, yes, they all have a forehead. It's a giant forehead. Hey, get out of here. No. <laughs> oh, I need a pillar block. I gotta get back in there. <laughs> hey, where you at? Oh, that works. Awesome. I was just gonna find some... Uh... Oh, this is not a good... This is not good. <laughs> ah, there's water in the pit. <laughs> As long as it land in the water, you'll be all right. Uh oh. Yeah, I just I have this nightmare of. <laughs> 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 okay, we're good. We're good. We are <laughs> gold. Are you sure you didn't pick up the heads? No, I saw them go in the system. Oh, don't push me over there! I don't want to go over them again. They're, they'll hurt me. Seriously, dude. You... What? Uh, I feel like if I go over any more, we're going to be crowding this guy. What do you think? Uh, I think I'm worried about somebody mucking up the storage on my iron farm. Uh, you're good. You're good. You go back to doing what you're doing, I'll be there in a minute. Look, I'm just saying. That that better be fixed. <laughs> like, how deep do you think this thing needs to go? Uh, well, 
we'll, we'll, we'll get to that part one one step at a time. Let's get the mail room moved. Figure out our inner and outer wall for at least that corner. And then we can start okay. going and where the door is. And then we'll go from there. This is the doorway with 25 blocks on either side. Okay. And we're going to dump the... Do we want to put it centered or do we want to put it down near the mail room in the corner? The door? Yeah. Um, whatever makes more logical sense. Why has it got to be a mill room? What if it wants to self-identify as a giraffe? Seriously? You, you're going to do... No. Then it needs to file, file the correct paperwork. We have a we have a sugarcane cane farm, so it's got plenty of paper. I don't want to hear any complaints. So I recently pillaged sugar cane farm too. Yeah, I made a bunch of books. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to get the lava back in place because I saw four heads drop, and I think that's all I need for referees, isn't it? Two sidelines, a runner, and no. Hey, I'm there's just... ten more Ender Pearls in your mailbox. I just need you, you, one. I you know, hope. Just take one or two at a time. <laughs> that, that way, you'll take care of yourself for the next five deaths, and you know, I just need may to the golems have lava mercy on in. your soul. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is not good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway. Are, are, are you watching this? I mean. <laughs> okay, so do we want the 25 on the inside? It doesn't make more sense for the interior dimensions to be an even number or an odd number. Um, Because it changes where I round the corner. Okay. Say that one more time. The interior dimensions, which are going to be where we lay out all the boxes, is it going to make more sense mm -hmm. for that to be an even number or an odd number for the math you have to do? Uh, since I'm going to need to put a spacer every eight blocks for part of that. <laughs> Did anyone else just hear cobbled? I heard Paul gobble, or <laughs> Arcadius gobble. I don't know what anyone's talking about. Are, are you still struggling with the golems over there? Yes. We don't want to talk about it. Gobble, gobble, gobble. They apparently remember that I'm not friendly and they want to kill me so I can't get the lava back in the top there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry, I need a moment. Let me just... How, how, how good of a memory do they have? I mean... They're they're basically computer robot people in an 8-bit game just, here. Just An iron like golem never forgets. Medic, you have no idea how appropriate my statue is right now. <laughs> Face palm. Yeah, um, <laughs> we are going to need to move the statuary, though. That's I definitely right. want to keep the diorama, but uh, we, we got to move the statuary. There's a command for that, I think. We'll just move whatever whatever you need to. I can always redo it later. No, you can just shift them. There's one to move the base. Just... You just have to know how many blocks you want to shift them. <laughs> Or you just walk up, unlock it, copy it, take the armor stand down, move it somewhere else, and then paste that armor stand again. Yeah, that's an option, too. That way you don't have to actually do any of the, the hard work anymore. Because <laughs> you already did it. You, you have to do it one at a time, though, so... <gasps> well, we'll need to move, too. We just gotta move it on in myself. <laughs> yeah, I, and I absolutely love that... While this is happening, more of them are dropping in. I know! I can't fix you, nothing. <laughs> well, Maybe you shouldn't go randomly killing things. I just, I need referees. And they look like the best referee ever. I, I thought you were going to use something different for the referee. 
I was gonna use polar bears, but it didn't. It didn't look right. Ooh, I'll, look, I'll go look get your polar bear heads. No, no, I, do, I have polar bear heads. That's how I know they don't. What? They don't Why look don't right. you get up on the ledge uh, and try to place the lava from the ledge? Oh goodness, goodness. goodness. Yeah, I know, because yeah, <laughs> there's gonna be more dropping. There, there's gonna be one to two every thirty seconds. This is a losing battle. <laughs> Reyes, did yeah, you they're get gonna that? get more reinforcements. <sighs> Goodness. What about losing battles? I was like, okay, can I just go ahead and put this back? I'm done. <laughs> I think I have the heads I need. There, there. Serves you right. <laughs> this is how we get iron. What? Look, look no. away! Oh, look away! What? <laughs> did, did you not know or was it because it happened in a big black box over in the distance so it, it was okay because it, it happened over I there didn't know. I, I just went to the box and got iron that's all I did I didn't know what happened behind the closed doors I swear officer I didn't know up. how they were doing it Yeah, you, it's you like can't the have... iron version <laughs> of um, Omelas <laughs> Oh, goodness. Ah, I have three three heads. Did, did they actually make it to the box, or are they in your inventory? No, I had to get them out of the hopper. Oh. <laughs> That's too line in the, the runner. I mean... Technically, I guess that's all I need. Right, right, right. There. Three? Yeah. That should be all you need. And I really thought you were going to use a different mob for the referee. I originally was. I was going to use polar bears, but like I said, they, the heads just didn't look right. They were too friendly looking. Can't have a friendly looking, you know, referee. That's just not going to work. You think this is like the FIFA, you know, men's cup? I mean, no, this is this is a women's cup. You gotta have mean looking refs. Since I know what you're using for the player heads, I'm just gonna quietly let that one slide. <laughs> I put a sign on our iron farm. Oh no. Yeah, I hadn't thought of it in that regards, but yeah, I probably shouldn't have worded it quite like that. <laughs> Uh, goodness. Okay. Well, oh, come oh. on. Uh, seriously. <laughs> what? Uh, rest. Oh, what she do? Oh, is there a sign here now? Yeah, there's a sign there now. What? I'll let you Google that. Oh goodness! I like that. I, I didn't realize that you had set the Minecraft skin to stare. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> Arcadius, you should look up the um, short story by Ursula K. Le Guin called The Ones Who Walk Away From Omelas. Oh, that's that story you've told me. Okay. Yeah, I performed it in high school. Yeah, yeah. That's what that is. It's Iron Omelas. I think that's a little rough. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I, I do too. I just watched them burn to death. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you not see them as they as they fell in the corner? Anyway, I mean, I just thought they despawned. Each one leaving behind well, I mean, iron and uh, they I don't know how any of that works. It's blah 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 redstone magic. But you saw how it worked the last time we did it. You you saw the big glass tank that you know display case that but we But I had. didn't see the fire anymore, so I thought we had more humanity. I thought we were doing a friendly server. This, this is time, more humane. and we weren't gonna it's kill behind things. A brick wall. Or it, it's not or on display for everybody to see. Turtles I mean, in, I, I, like, look, those if, if you want, I can go like back ducks. and I can fill it in with glass and we can just, you know, make a big glass, you know. That's not amusing. That that's not amusing. <laughs> I guess it's not the time to have been harvesting turtles, I guess. <gasps> Where? 
hair. I ain't telling you that until I have oh, my turtle shells. How many yeah, people need helmets? I'm, Four? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not telling you either, even though I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying nothing. You can dig around all you want. <laughs> I will watch your videos, people. One of you has slipped and said. <laughs> because because I, I saw it and I said, oh, no, he isn't. And I left. <laughs> I flew very quickly away. Okay. All right. uh, well, let's get back to putting our mail. Anyway, together. interior dimensions. Okay. Even number, odd number. Even number, odd number. Uh, it's probably going to have to be a multiple of uh, nine. 52 is not a multiple of nine. Yeah, but also all of that 52 isn't going to be storage wall either. Because we're tucking True. a mailroom in a corner and we got doors. And then we're probably going to have other stuff tucked around here and there too. Fair. Especially since uh, I'm going to need some room to maneuver some of the redstone to uh, get items going up and down and in different directions. But 54 is a multiple of 9 and that means the whole back wall could be that storage. Mm -hmm. So if we move... Right now it's 52... Mm, but that's crowding that. Well, and again, we can definitely close up and move the tunnel. And uh, if I remember right, that AFK spot's supposed to be a uh, temporary shelter. It is. Because once we get this up, I'll be AFKing inside of it. I, I do like... I, I still like the art. Oh, the AFK? Yeah. <laughs> So if you want to put it on top of the store, the storage no, unit. No, 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 no. Okay, so if I go two more on the other side, then it makes it the exact same distance from the iron farm as it is from the trading hall. Oh, wait, wait, where are you going? Where's who going? Arcadius. What is that? Yeah. Are, are you going to try to get more iron golem heads or... No, 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 no. Okay. Here you go. I, I just wanted to make sure that. I could get popcorn if I needed to. All right. That makes it 54. Okay. Interior dimensions, um, including the door. Is this grass that we're standing on here where the floor is going to be, or is the floor going to be on top of it? No, the floor. This is the floor. This is the floor. Okay. So we're going to tear up all this grass that we just put down to level it out and put in whatever flooring is going in. What do you mean to level it out? What are you no, doing? We're, we're going to have to rip up all this grass to put the floor where it currently is located. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. You sound sad. Well, because we just put a bunch of that down to level it I up. I didn't put a bunch of it down. No, I took up a bunch. Nah, don't worry about it. All right. Um, anyway. And this granite is the outer wall? Or the inner wall? The front is the outer wall. To make it 54 on the inside, though, that will have to be the outer and the inner wall to maintain the 54 on the inside. So that's the inner, that's the outer? Yep. All right. Um. Oof, that is getting close, though. What do you mean? What's the next number that's a divisible? 54. 45? Mm-hmm. How does it look if it's 45? Yeah, because you notice that that's getting kind of narrow. It's getting really tight. Family friendly. I didn't say anything. I heard it. You heard I mean, nothing. I, I know that we're trying to keep this uh, a little less tall than we did in season zero, but we can still do a mm -hmm. second floor. 
Okay. Um, so 50... What is it? 45 oh, minus God. 2 is 43. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Not with the two-eyed door. Forty-five would work with a one-wide door. Although it's not necessarily centered, is it? No. I, and that's that was the other thing I was going to say is we, we tuck the mail room in the corner and we put the door so that way you walk in, you look left, there's the mail room, you look right, there's the unloading station. So there'll be a big okay. double chest and a couple of hoppers that you can, like, dump stuff in. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, math. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we need to go ahead and do the double wall. So if this is that, then interior dimensions. One, two, three, four, ten, eleven. I need more of this. 3648. <laughs> Got a beehive. Beehive. Ooh. Nice. With the bee. Okay, that was going to be my follow up question was if it was uh, occupied. Yeah, we wait for him to go back in and then we'll silk touch it down. Oh, two. Oh, he, he came with two. And three. Now just wait for all three of them to go back in. And if I remember right, three is the maximum you can put in a beehive. Four. Is it four? Mm -hmm. For some reason, I thought it was three. Or maybe I misunderstood uh, Zuma's video. No, it's uh, four maximum. Three is the max you can get uh, to naturally harvest with a hive. Ah. Yeah. All right, double check my math and make sure that's 45 interior dimension. Come on back, little guy. Uh, someone slept through the night so he didn't go home. Oh, sorry. Okay. Not like you knew. Just waiting on the, on you, on you, buddy. He's going to get back just in time for the other one to come out. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, here he goes. I thought there was something else you could do that would get them to Got all it. go inside. No, it's legitimately either night or you have to wait for him to pollinate. That's 45 interior dimensions. Where did all these boxes and things come from? Ask Arcadius. Why? <laughs> Bombing run. I guess it would be a boxing run? I don't know. Why are you being weird with invisibility potions? That wasn't... I was flying over your head. Oh. Oh, crap, Arcadius. What's, what, 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 run what? away unless you got milk. I don't have milk, but I won't do the final hit on Run away. I got it. What do you do? Uh, oh, there, I got it. So you don't have to worry about whether or not you die. <laughs> or whether or not you kill them. Okay. I typically run in circles until one of them kills him. <laughs> yeah, I've done that a few times. That's always fun.
I just happened to turn around and saw all them guys there. How many was that? Eight? Uh, yeah, there was a lot. Probably the biggest uh, patrol I've seen in a while. Uh, they seem to really like coming from that side of the base. We, we probably ought to go on a lighting excursion. Do you say this all the time? Well, it, it's true all the time. <laughs> as long as you, uh, as long as you have enough natural lighting or uh, player placed lighting, they won't spawn in that area. Figure out how deep you're gonna make it. Mm -hmm. How deep is your love? Seriously, I don't know. Don't ask me questions. All right, that is forty-five by thirty-six interior dimensions. Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, we'll have to move that the acacia trees. Yeah, they were going to move anyway. Yeah. Welcome to maybe set up a little back door over here to head down into the tunnel. Yep. But that still leaves us a little bit of room between here and there. And actually, it would be, might be really cute if we did a little bridge coming out that connected over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that comes from the wolf farm to the back door to the tunnel. Uh huh. Okay. All right. So let's get our uh, let's get our mail room moved and tucked into the corner that's going to go in. Okay. Someone's going to have to. Are we going to need box. more hub boxes than this? I don't know, Rayest. Are you going to need more hub boxes than that? How high is the walls going to be in here? Uh, well, that comes down to the question of how much bulk storage do we say we wanted in our bulk storage? Like five boxes high or three boxes high? Five you can't reach from the ground, can you? Not readily. Yes, you can. Five I can't reach from the ground, not readily. Uh, I in really the game, we're all the same height. Did you hear me? Yeah, I'm coming somewhere where they're taller. Medic, what were you saying while I'm trying to find a tall chest? Uh, no, I was saying I really don't <laughs> want to have to try to jump to get into the upper chest. Yeah, you don't have to jump to get to the fifth. Oh, no, I can reach five. No, I can reach five. Five is fine. Yep. Yeah. We all can, because in the game, we're all the same height. No. -uh. I am judging you right now. Anyway. Race short. Um, <laughs> he might not be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've got her by at least a pixel. That would be kind of something if they let you customize yeah, that. Yeah, well, technically we also have the exact same stats and jumping capabilities, but I cannot parkour the way Arcadius can. <laughs> that oh. just comes from years of dying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, jumping abilities and jumping skills are not the same thing. <laughs> Alright, where should the corner of the hub? Should it go all the way into the corner, or do we want to leave a space just in case we do a bubble elevator into the next place, or would that be in the middle of the room? Um, the bubble elevator would be somewhere else. The question is, do you want decoration around the outer edge? Which I'm going to hazard a guess. Decoration? The answer is yes. All right, we got that. I need decoration to find. All right. 
Well, we're going to hide the redstone now, right? Yes. Okay. That seemed a peculiar question. So, are you going to build up around the outer edge of every wall? Like, because if I ram this into the corner, that means that my mailbox is oh, going to be gonna right up against that wall. No, I was going to put the hub oh, in the corner. Oh, you're going to put the hub in the corner? Uh, yeah. So, what are... All right, let's uh, then let's back up a step. So I was thinking like, let's so see. have hub there, and then have the mailboxes starting like there. Yes. Okay. Although I think we're thinking of this differently because I oh I didn't realize you put a thing behind me. Um, oh, yeah. I was thinking they were going on this wall. Like, like hub. mailbox, 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 hub. Yes. Which, I mean, I'm cool with whichever way. I just figured that would give more okay. room for you to do your contiguous storage thing around this wall, the back wall, and the other wall over there. Um, that part's not Or is good. it easier if it's broken? I, I'm, I'm trying to work around the mailroom. I want the mailroom to be the way that we want it, and then I'm working from there. Oh, okay, then I'm thinking do Amazon Hub and then mailboxes no, we, here, kind of like those uh, boxes uh, are? I, 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 I don't want a certain multi-billion company getting mad about us using a hub. Oh, my bad. Um, the storage boxes. It's just a branch off of Sahara. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. The Sahara spinoff hub? Yes, exactly. That's all we're doing. We're not ripping anyone off, just, you know. Alright, ripping someone off. Of Sahara. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, what color did I make this? Is light gray? Okay. For I guess that makes George. us legal. Huh? I said, I guess that makes us legal, because we're not ripping off someone. We're ripping someone off who ripped someone else off. That, that makes it legal, right? I don't think so. No, no that's not the way that works. <laughs> you sure? I'm pretty sure. Oh, well. I'm also pretty sure we almost lost Hubbox 101. Why? Yeah, because it was sitting on top of the map. On top of the map? Yeah. You know, I'm okay with losing any of the other hubs, but 101, come on. 101? That's what the box was named. When you broke it, it fell on top of the bo the blocks that had the map. Oh, okay. So it was going to despawn if somebody didn't pick it up. 115. <clears throat> so again, do we want to have the mailboxes here and the hub on the right, or the boxes on the right and the hub there? My vote is the hub where it is and the mailboxes over where these the mailbox and hub boxes right now. Huh? How big yeah, is it in this hub? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to make a square room in a corner. Well, that's the problem. She doesn't want a square room in a corner. The whole room with another whole room in it. <laughs> like what you have lined out right now is her mail room. And then we just needed another box twice as big as that one for the actual store. Alright, one, two, three. It can it can be Sahara Warehouse. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not doing that kind of redstone. Well, I didn't say anything about that. I just meant like bulk storage warehouse. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to undertake that project? I bet you'd be good at that kind of redstone. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you download you downloaded the uh, the world. You can go in there and look, see what they did, and do it yourself. Sure, sure. By the way, that's all you. No. <laughs> 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 I mean, it only, it only took Iscal and Mumbo together 
you know, probably with some consultations from other people that we don't realize, but, you know, that's okay. Wait, did I just hear him volunteer to make Sahara on our server? I did. No. I thought I heard him say that. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just let, let me go get my structure blocks and uh, I'll, I'll copy it 32 chunks at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, Mr. Admin. None of that junk. <laughs> do, this, do this right. Uh, you know you have 101 over here behind you, right? Yeah. Totally. Okay, I think I've gotten rid of all the acacia trees over here. Sweet. Does anyone actually need acacia for me to replant this, or am I just going to put um, this all in storage? Actually, if you replant it on the other side of the melon pumpkin farm, so that way we'll have some acacia trees ready when we need them. Uh, that's where I moved the dark oak when I did the clearing earlier. Okay. But I also notice this project seems to keep growing a little bit bigger each time. Nah. I think you're just paranoid. Mm -hmm. Did you just switch them? No, I did not. Okay. Can you blame me for asking? For asking me? <laughs> yes. For asking certain other server members? No. Not at all. Alright, so... That was I don't like that. Hub. Yes? Okay, so that's where the hub's going? Yes. And then what? We'll put the mailboxes starting maybe here? I was thinking on this wall. So, mailbox. 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 Unless you're trying to do it around a corner, in which case I suddenly understand the confusion. Yeah, I, I was trying to do it around a corner. Um, that's going to be annoying. How much room will they take up? Uh, three blocks by three. But won't they have decorative stuff in between them? Oh, that's why I was asking One, two, you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They will take up nine. So. Is it going to look weird if the hub is not as tall as everything else? No. It will uh, probably ought to just make the hub as tall as the mailboxes and just make them That's wider. Fair. Two, three, or a couple of four, books and an five, item frame for six. a job board. Maybe throw up a sign that says all employees must wash their hands. Oh, that's not funny right now. <laughs> you don't live with the paranoia that I do. Maybe add another sign that says you should wash your hands too, but we're not your mother. <laughs> I do love that one. Why are you a different color? Weird. Are you sure it's a different color? I think so. I think that's just the lighting. What's nine times three? Twenty-seven. Oh. What? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, six times three. <laughs> well, that'll get you a different answer now, won't it? It will. It totally will. Or is it seven? Yeah, seven times three. <laughs> Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Shh, it's okay. You can keep telling me that, but I'm not sure that makes it true. Now that we are speaking English to each other, I will finish moving the storage unit over here if you want to start laying the stuff. A decorative block is going to go there. All right. And then what? Somebody's mailbox is going to go right next to that? And then and one then decorative mine. block in between each? Yep. Okay. So then my mailbox and then a decorative block. Mailbox, decorative block. And then medic, and then a decorative block. <clears throat> and then Arcadius, and then a decorative block, and then you. That keeps it in alphabetical order. Almost went missing again. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that one. I take it we're leave, gonna leave the hitching posts on the outside instead of on the inside. That seems fair. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's what I was gonna do while I. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Oh, you won't be able to see that decorative block, will you? Probably not. So eh, do you want to move everything over one? Oh, hang on. Uh, right now, before, you know, I get too much further. Yeah. Okay, so we're moving all the mailboxes over by one. Yay! That number two or three? Uh, it's only the second one I've got. I've seen. It's almost night, so the bee should go home in a second. Well, only one has popped out. Still, it's better than an empty one. And you want us to hold off on There's the sleeping two. until you guys get. I just let them get back in the hive for a second. They should return as soon as the sun is fully down. I keep seeing these dirt blocks over here and thinking I'm supposed to be picking them up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sleep. There's, there's two. I got it. You got it as in your sleeping or okay, good. Yeah, I got it. Alright, so there's two in that, that one, which means bad. we can uh, Oh, what's up, you little punk? Oh What was that about? The little zombie came out of oh. the tree work. He was like, What up? I wanna claim some bees. Medic was like, nah, you can't play with no bees. There was a there was a scuffle. Second, the backs of these look kind of fun too. He's got one bee. Four bees? Or are you the only one? Two bees for this one. Oh, um, oh, sorry. Campfire. 
Oh, I leave that go. to you, Nami. No, you have fun with that. <laughs> okay. That's your job. Shouldn't it go back one? If it goes back one more, then we'll be at the exterior wall. So your outer wall, and then your inner wall will go around at least part of the redstone. Where are you going, dude? Oh, that should be okay, because this one will stick out here, but we've got that decorative block there. Yeah, that yeah. should be fine. Yeah. I'm very glad we moved it out then. And this is why I wanted to do a little bit of layout and some, you know, wool and whatnot before we started building walls and going, oh, yeah, that's not going to work. We need to, um... I really didn't want that. Not with a, not with as ambitious as uh, this one's going to be compared to previous seasons. You need to clear the wood as you go, bud. You're cutting off your... Uh... You're dropping your percentage chance of getting hives by doing that. Yeah, I've had hives. It's not fun. Well, he's well, by I'd... growing multiples in a row. You're cutting off an entire side that the hive could have uh, shown up on. I mean, I don't know why we're doing this. Are we doing this for the hives, or what are we? Doing? <laughs> no, I'm uh, the only. I'm only doing it for wood for chests. But the hives are bonus. That's why I put the flowers out. Because think, he got hives? I think I lost that bee. I think he's... He's over there. Decided, he, yeah, I think he decided he's going to go ahead and do his own thing. Uh, we got leads. We can bring him back. Or maybe he just wants this flower over here. Maybe I should take up the flowers that are over here. How about this? You want this flower? I got a flower for you. You want this? Here. You know, come here. It, does, it doesn't matter. Come here. Come here, I got you. Come here. Come on. You want the flower? Come here. Come here. Come here, little bee. I got you a flower. Um. Whoa. That just happened. That just happened. Oh, it's a bee baby. Huzzah! Look at that hub. I guess I could use angry bee heads as my uh, my referees. That would be awesome. What is wrong with the games you're going to? <laughs> huh? It's Man United. I mean, they're they're oh, evil. Oh, never mind. I mean, exactly. See. <laughs> <laughs> I love how at that point it's like, oh yeah, no, god, angry bees. It is then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jeez. It's not my team. I just I know they're crazy. So yeah. well, we won't bring up what your team is because you know I try to forget that as often as I can. Well, at least my team didn't go like zero four the other day. Okay. Really so uh, in this edition of why we don't have <laughs> PvP enabled, um... <laughs> while you're doing that, do you want me to pull up the next layer so we can put in the floor? Uh, actually, I'd like you to empty your mailbox for a change. Why? Because <laughs> I need your to house. move it. <laughs> I don't have a house! You, you have a temple. It's yours. Go. Put it over there somewhere. I don't have a temple. That's not my house. It's where the angry fishes live. I would not live there. How about this? I'll rent you my hut on the hill for like a dime in a day. How about that? Or not. <laughs> At all. <laughs> dime, dime in a week? <laughs> you yeah, I have I diamonds? No. <laughs> This is probably not a battle you want to engage in. Oh, this wasn't a battle. This is a negotiation. No, negotiations are even. <laughs> mm. Hold on. Go dump your stuff into a hub box and. I'm doing that! <laughs> I mean, pretty soon the hub is going to be Ray's personal storage as we keep, you know. <laughs> <laughs>
Actually, I'm, why don't we just I'm go ahead and expand that to one hub box for each <laughs> item, each space in a barrel. So that way you can have a barrel full of slips for hub boxes. I just always thought it was. I, I didn't know no better. <laughs> Okay, my box is empty. All right, Mr. Don Quixote. Um, you need to. He's so cute. Yeah, I just want him to not get punched accidentally. Why would you get punched accidentally? Because he walks in front of me while I'm moving something. Um. Have we brought you enough chests yet? I feel like I've dropped off like seven stacks. Oh, I haven't even made any in a little bit. I've got a bunch of wood on me. Ooh, oh, sh shoot. Oh, yeah. Let me get out of here because you just. What, what did you just do? Do we need a group face palm again? No. no. The tree spawned right in front of me while I was clearing uh, leaves and trees. And mm -hmm. it spawned the hive right in front of my axe. So I had three angry beat. Hey, that's perfect. Now I have the referees. <laughs> I mean, on, on a did good you, note, I mean... Did you get all three heads? Yeah, I did. It's funny. How can I get all three heads for three bees, but I can't get a bloody cow head to save my life? These are questions I'm not even going to try to answer. I don't get it. What is the percentage on a, a mushroom? I mean, jeez, Louise. Right, right. There we go. Mailbox is moved. Where are we putting the door? Oh, are you? Did you just wait to dump everything back in? <laughs> <laughs> do, do we have enough hubs for one one slot? You know, one box for each slot. Like uh, these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. No. All right, are, are we going to expand it out so we can just get it over with and have one slip for each hub in your uh, box? No, because then it wouldn't be even because right now it's a perfect square. Hi, hey, Jobo. Why are you being so sad? I think. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Yep. What? Now it's a perfect square. I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I saw it. I don't know. These are stupid. <laughs> you know what? But it, it doesn't matter. As long as I have two bees, I can breed right. enough to put in there. Well, there's another two bees bee over here two bees. floating around. Hey, he's trying to get it back to his home. He took it down. Yep. Ta -da. He, there he we go. Around. See? Because it's a perfect square now. Okay. Optifine, stop doing the crazy thing. No, we got a. There's a new pre release out. Yeah, I haven't downloaded yet. I have it downloaded. It's on the share. Yeah, I haven't downloaded it from the share yet. Ah. So okay. we're going to put the door, like, here ish? And do you guys need to wait for nightfall for more bee work or? Nope. No, I'm trying to sleep right now. Okay. I think the door should go. Here. Okay. And if it's going to be a two wide door, it should. So that there's a two gap here. Okay. 
so that it feels a little bit more roomy when you walk in and you're not like up against okay. the wall. Why are you trying to hide behind me? Huh? I don't know, his life's hard. So that will be the doorway. Nice head, puppy. I need to get a Jubba cam. And then... Like Where'd I pointed that... at the same spot at the corner of my desk. Where'd that bee go? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out where he flew to. There he is oh, over there. Wait a minute, I did that wrong. You did got a wrong. beehive? No. I did this wrong. I'm looking for a flower so I can lead her around. Here, just put this beehive up over there. I don't play with those. You see what happens every time I play with those. Come on, Mr. B. Here, I got a flower see, for I, you. I, I got a hive right here. Boop, there we go. Are we, are we just going to leave him free roaming, or do you want the hive after he's in it? No, I just leave him free roaming. There we go. And that's the doorway here. And that's the doorway there. So it's going to be a one wide door into mm -hmm. the mailroom. Yeah, I think so. It's it's all organic. That's what that is. It's an all organic Ooh. bee hunt. Are we going to put a... Um, let's put a glass wall so you can at least see in and see the light if the light's lit up. That's pretty. At least along uh, this side. All right. Uh, so... Let's uh move these uh boxing out of the way. Okay. Oh. Oh. Are we running into inventory management issues? As we build our inventory, yes, actually. Uh well, well and I love how you just use dirt for all the uh markers for the mailbox hub when uh Oh, huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that was for. And the red wool pulled for that very purpose. <laughs> Good, that'll look better. And makes a lot more sense and we won't keep trying to pick it up. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> I hear you're mocking and I do not appreciate it. <laughs> Nobody appreciates good mocking. But I mean, if you're going to be good, I'll either be good or be good at it. You're good at something. Bushes. All right. Pretty little bushy. And a happy little bush there. I was waiting for that. And a happy little tree. And another happy little tree. I'm curious how this is going to get decorated. Are you going to just put another uh, wool block underneath? Since we're color coding a lot of our stuff anyway? Or ah, I'll leave that up to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it pretty. Ta-da! What's that block there for? Are you going to put another door on this side? No. Oh, oh, gotcha, That's so gotcha. Boxes. Our, uh, templates, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to try to remember all this, are you? <laughs> no. All right, so we got two on that side. We'll go one, two. And then over here. All right. While you are doing that, give me one second. The store has called like seven times in a row. So I think yeah. someone's dying. Uh, yeah. Or they better be. <laughs> no. Um. With who's working tonight, they, they don't call multiple times unless they actually... Unless they actually need something. Yeah. Unless like it's like, nope, they genuinely need my help. I'll be right back. Hmm. Actually, here, put the wood in there.
three, four, five. I'm gonna start putting the wood in here as logs. And if they actually okay. need more chests than what we've already given, they can actually change them for themselves. Okay. Where did you put the rest of the chests? I gave them to him. I handed them to Reyes and uh, Anon, both. Well, to be fair, I didn't hand them the first couple of sets. I did, like, carpet bombing runs with them. <laughs> so I flew over the top of them and held Q. That was fun. Now they're just going to pick them up through the wall there. You might also not have the inventory space for that. Nonsense. You do know who we're talking about, right? <laughs> nope, she got them all. She, she has probably, I would say, at least six, maybe seven stacks of chests now. That's probably not enough. That's fair. <laughs> Only fair because it's. So that means if we did double chest. Actually, leave it as iron gold, and if I can get nine more, no, eight more heads, I could have an angry B team, and that could be the enemy team instead of trying to get those brown mushrooms. <laughs> right, I mean, this conversation while rest is out of the room, obviously. <laughs> Yes, this recorded conversation that's going out live to ones of people. Don't, don't talk. Don't talk common sense to me. Come on. All right. I'll still need to figure out the redstone that goes behind that, but that might be. Actually, you know what? We probably don't even need to have that in the room. sorting took up less space I need one two three four plus the hopper okay so that kind of works too and came to mind like a Sasquatch test or whatever it's called um <laughs> Sasquatch <laughs> test <laughs> uh, I don't know what that name is it's complicated talking about the inkblot test I don't know 
to take a nap now. <laughs> I don't know. It looks dark enough. Sun's going down. Hey, you can see my green lightsaber. No, you can't. Barely. <laughs> green lightsaber? and they'll all feed into something behind here. That's what I gotta figure out how much space is gonna take. Because the idea is when you walk in the door here, you'll have the mail to your left, and to your right you'll have a double chest and a row of hoppers that will feed into the storage system. So you can put shulker boxes down on the hoppers, and then dump whatever else into the chest and it'll feed into the storage. And then magic happens from there. That's when the magic happens. Can you G kind of magic? But you know, never mind. Okay, that's a start. That's progress. We're starting to get it. I need to figure out the loading station next. Because uh, then what I'm thinking is... We'll get... However much space that takes. I'll give myself four for that, and then we'll go storage... Or sign floating around here somewhere. signs in one of these boxes. Oh, okay. okay. I think is where I saw him. Yeah. Are you playing with my ink? No, no, I got that out of the river just now. Oh. Oh. Five. Okay. Topped off your stack, though. There you go, because I'm a nice guy. Well, I guess, let me rephrase that. Are you playing with... She doesn't need any more, I don't think. I think we're done. Yes, thank you. Now, I'm not saying that the project's done. We still have another half to do, but that's a much smaller half, and she still has almost all the 
uh, uh, what do you call it? Charcoal I took her. Yeah, I'm going to plant these trees and then uh, I'll be right back. Space for Roger, Roger. Item transport. I need to AFK just a minute because there is a hungry pooch at my feet. I'm probably going to be calling it here soon anyway. It's getting close to 8. to keep you safe. Are you still muted? Does this mean I can say anything? Yay, I'm free of my box. Yeah, I gotta double check the spacing, but the general idea is where these logs are is going to be an unloading station. So there'll be a double chest and then five hoppers. Okay. That'll feed into the storage. And then the first thing you see around the corner is bulk storage. I don't know how much space that's going to take for the redstone. So this is kind of a guesstimate. But uh, okay. we'll do towers of bulk storage. Then uh, multi-item storage over two stacks of single item storage and based okay. on our storage issues last season I was thinking each uh, pair of double chests would be a single item okay and then just start wrapping that around the around the building cool but I gotta double check spacing so this is kind of a tentative this is the napkin sketch. Okay. But this is the general idea. Does it really need that much space in the back? Yes. Wow. That's for all the redstone. I, I could probably push it back by a one. No, but that's that fair. also we still wouldn't be able to that, that wouldn't give me as much room to um, manipulate things. Oh, that's not too bad. That's still a little bit but of room. But don't forget, there there doesn't have to be a uh, there might be a gap between the bulk storage and the rest, but it won't be a big gap. Okay. Um, uh, my big question is, yeah, because if I run, so everything's going to come out of the input chest over here and these. Mm -hmm. It's going to go up a water column and start running across the bulk storage because odds are pretty good that we're going to have some, if not most, of what we're putting in bulk storage that we're inputting first. And then I was thinking of running it down the multi-item storage and then back the single item storage but we still need a place to drop the things that don't fit and maybe that's what we put um, in the middle between them I'm a tidbit confused right now okay we're, we're gonna have more storage units in this right yes yes I'm trying to get a general layout for flow because I gotta figure out how these items are gonna move around the system Okay. Perchance, could you just humor me and let me throw some chests down? So, are we talking like ba doop ba doop? Only where the gray is? Yeah. Okay. So, there will be many more modules. Yeah. I don't know how okay, many. Cool. I'm just trying to get an idea of flow before I start putting anything else down Fair. so something's going to come from here shoot it up to the top 
above that chest where the item flow is going to be. And it'll run across, and as we come across the bulk items, those will get pulled out of the queue first. Okay. And then I'm thinking I run it across the multi-item storage and then send it back across the single item storage. That's fair. The the only question is what to do with the items that don't have a home. And my thought was to put a little more space between the bulk items and these items and put a uh, boxes for unloved things or overflow or both because the other option too though is I could put bulk storage at the end and just have at the end of the bulk storage be the boxes for unloved things I think that makes more sense because then it's right around the corner of here so then if we need to go fix something we can run and fix it and then just boo -doop. Um. well you know that means that's going to put oh, uh. Who hasn't slept in a while? Rest. Oh, crikey, they're coming after me. Why are you coming after me? I slept. I have slept. She's over there. Ow. Yep, they are coming after me. It wouldn't be a streaming day if there weren't phantoms. <laughs> I want to say you're wrong, but I know you're not wrong. <laughs> there was a medic. There was a medic? <laughs> over the dog dish. <laughs> He's very happily eating right now. Well, you know, he does get very happy when he's fed. He does. At least he doesn't have a metal dish. Because his collar, the little jangly bits on his <laughs> collar, hitting a metal dish while he's eating, that would be like an alarm clock. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay, so... Instead of this, we'll start from... Maybe I should have found a different block for placeholding. Oh, this is really noticeable. What? The wool? The wool, yeah. How many are you trying to take it down? Just the bulk part. Breaking blocks with the non. Mm -hmm. We're going to start making that cheap recycled wool. The kind they use in rescue blankets and all that stuff. No. No? No. Shabby blankets, I mean. Uh, shoddy. Shoddy, shoddy, that's it. I don't know why I said shabby. Well, I mean, they do seem a little shabby, but... <laughs> Ooh, I think that makes sense, too, because then we can have um, the land of unloved things, and then super bulk storage, and then when you round the corner, it gets into the other stuff. Uh, Actually, you had that backwards. Did I? Oh, I don't know. Um... You had that backwards. Actually, I don't know if you had that backwards. Oh, shush. That's all I heard. <laughs> okay, so... We get the items in here. And then mm -hmm. we go across the multi-item around the building. Then they make a second trip back around here. And then make this the land of unloved things and put the bulk, like, in the back corner over there. No! Bo does not have little money to do that. <laughs> Nothing. You guys have fun. We're I'm talking to medic. You're good. You're good. Okay. Uh, no, I was thinking a land of unloved things. Mm -hmm. 
Because wherever the land of unloved things is, it has to be at the end of the line. That has to be the last stop. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Oh. Because I can't foreknow what the unloved things are. They are, by definition, everything that doesn't have a home. Oh, so we've got to home that. everything Let's else land first. Of things here. Okay. So then we're back to bulk storage. No. Um, no, we'll have to do the bulk storage right before the land of unloved things. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a bugger and a half to figure out. Why? Well, because you got to remember, I've got to have things moving across the multi-item storage and then across again the single item storage and somewhere in there it's got to go across the bulk storage and then finish at the land of unlived things the land of misfit blocks okay so what if it's so that's why I was originally thinking bulk storage here but then we wouldn't have a good home for that. So if we put all all the sad stuff here, then the water stream goes up. It goes through these guys in the blue first around the storage. And that makes its way back around through these guys. Okay, so I have, I have a redstone question. Mm -hmm. So that's just for storytelling purposes. No, oh, no, I need space in there. Okay, so that is intentional? That That is intentional. Okay. And I'm not even sure it's one block. It might be two blocks, but I know I need space. No. We're not going to be able to put a single item on top of that either. Oh, uh, we you could... Got him? Sorry. Neither are about to chat. All right, one one will be on top of the other. So we could put the the multi item storage down across the bottom. It's only going to be mm -hmm. one double chest high. Mm. Just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason that this one has two blocks and this one has one? Yes, because we were constantly running out of storage space with a lot of items beyond just the bulk stuff. So we'd have two chests for an item, one chest for the multi. Would it be possible mm -hmm. to do bulk storage at the same height as this, and then it could just go around the top, and the top all be the ones, and then come around the bottom, and the bottom all be the twos? And then you have your sadness? Huh? Can the land of misfit or unloved things just be on the bottom here at the same level as this? And then bulk things be on top of it? Or how high is the bulk things going to be? We were going to make the bulk storage five high for each item. That Hi, Jeff. I know he just fed you. <laughs> You're not getting a second so dinner. Hungry. You're not but a hobby. So you don't bad. get dinner and supper. How many boxes do you think we're going to need for unfit, unloved things? Uh, well, that was one of the questions that we needed to answer, too. And how many Ow. items for bulk storage? And then where everything else was going to get slotted in. But honestly, I need to figure out the flow before we figure that out. Yeah. Dude, what are you guys doing over there? You don't want to know. Don't ask, don't ask questions you don't want to do. <laughs> PvP? 
<laughs> Creative PvP, since it's not allowed otherwise. <laughs> Call that this a is why we don't betting. ask questions. <laughs> anyway. So what if we did overbulk? Uh, so these are still going to be the more likely items. Yeah, you know that if we put the bulk above, we're not going to be able to reach it. Or unless you're going to say, we put the bulk storage on a second floor. And that's always an option too, is that we have bulk storage, regular storage, and then put unloved stuff on the top floor. Although that, that really strikes me as it's going to be an out of sight, out of mind thing. And then we're going to end up with like yes. 82 boxes of bulk storage of yes things that we just kind of forgot were there. Yes. All the yeses. I mean, not, not, not like there's any reason to believe that. Dude, that's perfect. I just thought about this. Oh no. So, what if... Well, I mean, we may have to just go back to your original of this being the land of sad things. It's a little annoying to have to walk a couple extra blocks, but at the end of the day, it's a couple extra blocks. Yeah. So, because that Why would make sense, right? Rockets. If it was bulk, multi, and the multis are always on top. Multi, 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 mm -hmm. multi, multi. Wee, multi. This is oh. a really big area. Um... <laughs> Multi, well, multi, 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 and then come down oh, here oh. to the double wides because we will have more of that stuff, and then do double, double boil in trouble. Cauldron boiling. Do do do, do 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 all of these guys on the same level because I feel like we'll have a million of them. Keep going, keep going, and then at this point, whatever's left over goes in these boxes. Okay, so bulk, and then just leave our unloved, the last couple of stacks of saying. too high? Yeah. Okay. That seems the most logical and probably the easiest to do, because then it keeps everything on kind of a consistent so level. One, two, three, four, five... All right, so it'll come out of the input into the bulk first, come across the multi-storage, and then come back through the single item storage, and then the last some number of double chests will be all the sad items. Correct. <laughs> Things that have no home. Yep. All right, now we just need to figure out numbers and location. Like... Uh, let me figure out the unloading mechanism first, because that'll tell us where we can start placing down bulk storage. You've got the list of what okay. you want to have in bulk storage, right? Yes. So, oh, then go go make a uh, go make a book and stick it in an item frame with all the items that you want in bulk storage. A book. A book. Take a look. Huh? It's in a book. <laughs> I love it. Anyway. <laughs> um can do anything. I've only ever used books for decoration or bookshelves, which is decoration. Uh you, you need a a book an ink and a feather. Huh. And then you can actually make a book that you can write in. No way. Yeah. Any ink? Well, squid Back. ink. An ink sack. Oh, not it. Have they all got converted to black ink? No, I, I got them. Oh, okay. wait. 
Yeah, they're all black ink. They're black dye. Uh, what are you doing? Hey, there you go. Thank I'm you. Trying to get seeds. You got a chicken feather? Um, I'm looking for them. I don't remember where we put them. I know they're in here. Yeah, there are some odd locations for a few items. I, I, I won't lie. Well, it was because we ran out of space. And I had to start yeah. getting creative. I noticed. I wasn't expecting the gunpowder to be in with the sticks, and that's where the feathers are. Oh. Really? <laughs> Don't look huh. at me. You're the one who set it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah I you can tell that the things that I don't alone. use because they just go, meh, there's free space here. No one pays attention to that. <laughs> we do when we're trying to put the stuff away. <sighs> All right. I have a book and a quill. And now how do I write in it? <gasps> oh! Oh. Oh, did you just now discover books and quills? Yeah. I can type anything? Yeah. How many pages of anything? I'm not sure. A hundred. Is it a hundred? I knew there was a limit, pages. but I couldn't remember what it was. I can write a hundred pages of thing? Yes. Oh. Why do I get the feeling we might not have... Should have told you that. Yeah, I feel like we're going to start getting to-do lists or something. <gasps> I hadn't thought of that! Well, if you're going to do that, at least put it on a lectern. So. <laughs> <laughs> you better get back in here. <laughs> lectern i know, I know. i'm coming i'm coming i'll do it you back up back up oh, you gotta make them mad first there you go what how do you make a lectern only two uh, uh some slabs i forget how or some wood slabs, slabs i forget how many and a bookshelf that's eight i need 11 for the team 12 for a coach hi jobo Plus a few on the bench. There's another one already in the box here for you. Turn. Oh, sweet. Is he oh, I was going to do the carry upside down. Hmm. Oh, sweet. I'm two away from the team. Plus one for the co how many? How many people should be on the sidelines? How many reserve? Uh, one soccer team has 22 pl up to 22 players, including the 11 on the field. Okay. I'm not putting that many people on the sidelines. <laughs> let's, no. let's go with like, what, five? Five on the side? Plus the coach, so six on the sidelines. So 11 plus six, 17. I need 17 hits. Oh, that, that won't make them bees. I'll make them a different people. Using iron golems for the referees, bees for the enemy team. I will mix the two mushrooms together to make a team. Or, or I'll just use one brown mushroom for the goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, I put little item frames there for you to put the books in. Oh. Okay. Although, leave the lectern there. I'm sure we'll find a good use for it. Welcome to your storage unit. Yeah, because I know there's going to be a couple of caveats. Um, like the multi-item boxes, there's going to have to be at least one item as a placeholder. So you can't leave a spot empty. There has to be a placeholder. Single item should be fine. I 
have the this feeling. This is you're about to be, be awesome. Yeah. All right, so you're you're about to be making all your listicles. Uh huh. <laughs> listicles. It's the server honey do lists. Let's be honest. This is going to be so awesome. Well, hopefully she's making a list of what we need all the boxes for so I can work on that over the weekend. I am. And you shall receive. All right. So, uh, while that's going on, I am going to mute Discord and find the right button. Go to the end credits to say thank you for joining along. We stream live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Uh, for the remainder of the month of March, I will be simulcasting to Twitch and Mixer. By the end of March, I'm going to um, put a pause on Mixer and just go exclusively on Twitch. So if you're watching on Mixer, definitely come over to Twitch. Um... If, you're, if you haven't already, definitely follow along on Twitch. So that way you'll know when I go live. If you want to do a follow over on Mixer, you can. I'm going to keep that account there as a placeholder. So that way, if something happens to the Twitch account, I'll still have the Mixer account to go to. But I'm not going to be actively working on that unless there's a, unless there's a, a, a reason to. Um, but that'll be at the end of March that that change goes into effect. And uh, all the live stream replays get uploaded to the YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below. And the episodes should be starting back up soon. I'm almost done with my classes. And that's been eating up a lot of my free time for building episodes. So once the classes are done, which should be in the next week-ish, um, I should be able to get started back up again. And uh, I think that's enough of all the, uh, all the things I need to do. So thank you. Have fun, and I will see you next week.